So welcome back. We are doing a critique. Oh, don't we have to do this? <laughs> well, yeah, there's music going on. <laughs> we didn't do it last time, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dorky attack. So anyway, we are <laughs> we are back, and David slash Draflia, the flyer, the flyer, and Josh Tam, me, are critiquing a photo competition by Morningside College. So, so like uh, a little background, like with this competition is less, um, it's broken down into three categories and we've just finished like one category as refuge. And then we talked, and then uh, previously we talked about how if we're going to go, uh, join this competition, what's our main theme. So now on to the second part, we will continue with our themes and one, the theme right now would be current. Current. Okay. So currently we have... Ta -da! So, um, Kurt, this photo, does it look like... Wow, shouldn't this be in under refuge? Nah, it's current because there's movement of people. In fact, this is... Yeah, I guess it's the current of people moving. Mm. In a literal sense. Because, like, um, previously when we talk about this topic, we say we can go to... to and a it's current.jpg, so... Yeah. Well, we can go into this category in two approaches, like one as if in the current, like moving things, and the other was as the hipster, as in very current events. Or maybe they are. Is this is this a hipstery? Well, that's not the subject, person? definitely. Well, to me, it is, because this is this, this is the this only person. One still, yeah, I guess still, and this is a sharp thing, and my eye goes straight to the middle thing. It, it oh, helps have does this. No, to me, it does because because. All this around here is, she, she's kind of surrounded there, she's right in the middle. I would, I, if, if I'm really doing the current theme, like as you said, I would have cropped this. I wouldn't show this part, because the leading lines are all towards here. Yeah, but that's true. But this is off center, so when you look at it, at least for me, I see the, I yeah, see the girl. The first, first, thing the first I see view the will be the, is the, the first you see the subject. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be drifted off into this part. My second view directly goes to this part. Yeah, so you, you think so to I crop would have, it... I would have cropped it here to capture the moment and the current thing. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It, it would make it a stronger image if you crop yeah. it. Because you're getting rid of things that aren't as important to the image. Which are these signs, they're not so important. We don't really need to see... Yeah. The, the, well, if it's, if it's there, it shows the view that it, it serves a purpose, then yes. It doesn't seem like it's serving a purpose and it's distracting. Yeah. So in a really get... technical sense. So I would prefer to crop it. Yeah, you would get a strong image because people would then have they won't be distracted by this part. They would just look at what you're trying to show, which is I think the most important is the movement of people. Yeah. So that's how to improve the image. I think it's a good image. I I like it. Mm -hmm. Um well, you I like it because the colors are good. The colors good, and it's, it's your an style. It's an interesting copper it's composition. Your style. <laughs> well, what do you mean, bright colors? Bright or... color, size. Yeah, I reckon. Now, I would also like to see. I've seen Hong Kong much busier than this. Um, oh yeah. Yes. I, I guess it's been raining, which it does make it look nice because you get like, more yeah. colors. But I would also like to see you go back to this place and shoot it on you know the busiest time of the day for the market because it's even though it's about current it looks a little empty i've seen these markets you can't even move oh yeah sure. or maybe like the uh the flower markets at new year it, it, that is so packed a long oh. exposure shot there would be great i have a really good photo for current now that i think of it but i'll, I'll show it next time yeah so i i think it's good i think it could be busier if you're trying to re if if current to you is the movement of people i think you need more people in it yeah and then then this is your main main Strop. <laughs> this is your main composition yeah. it's the current you you want to show the people moving yeah. uh as is it's a nice shot of the whole marketplace but yeah we have to judge crop this it out, as... Crop it out. <laughs> you got to crop it out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disney's going to sue me one day. <laughs> um, yeah, so for current, we, we want to see it about current. Current, yeah. Cool. Next. Mm, mm, okay. Interesting shot. Okay, well, first thing is, 
I like the composition. Now, they don't need to crop this anymore, right? Uh, no, but good. I think she would. I would have moved the subject a bit more to the center. Oh, okay. Because the leading lines aren't there. So you're going to tell her, hey, step back a bit more? <laughs> yeah, two steps. That's all she needs. <laughs> or perhaps you could just move the camera a little bit more. You can move it down this way to center her. Mm, maybe it's not my eyes. So you could I'm not do artistic that. enough. You could do that. Why well, could? If you, wanna, if you want to center her. Um, I would have put this in refuge. Because it is a temple. I know. So let's this try, is to, much better let's try to figure this out. Should we have a look at the... Sure, go ahead. Because I don't quite get it do either. Do it, Living the moment, dot JPEG. So current. I can't get the artistic side of this, but... Yeah. From the and, composition and standpoint, then yeah, I would have moved the subject a bit more to the center. Tell her to move forward a bit. Well, you can't tell her. She's probably a can it's probably a candid shot. Oh, yeah, it's that's not like street true. photography. You're not going to go, hey, you, with the garbage walking down the street. Uh, actually, go back there and take two. Actually, aren't you supposed to do that? <laughs> not really. Really? No, you're supposed to be really quick and shoot from the hip. Oh, have yeah. a pre-focused click. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's not shot from the hip, That's though. That's how you street she, photography. She, that, the photographer didn't bend down, definitely. Well, okay, if he so, bent a bit, move over a bit to the side and make it her so centered. So what we're saying is you can move if you want her centered, which would help a little bit. Yeah. You just move down a little bit more. Oh, this is a candid shot. Okay. I think it is. I think it's a candid shot of oh, someone wow. in a temple. I see you. Now, I think current is talking about the architecture. Like the architecture here, it definitely has <coughs> cultural significance. I, I'm not sure where in the world this is and I don't want to guess because I'll probably get it wrong yeah but uh, it kind of looks new it is it looks, kinda looks new, new and it is traditional but freshly painted so perhaps that is what it's about now living the moment I, I still don't quite get what they're trying to say like the moment being new or she's just enjoying you know th this place it's yeah. about current. So I'm a little bit confused. Mm. I'm not sure. Now, we're not the only, you and I are not the only two judges. There's a third judge okay, for this. Okay. So. Uh, I, ho I hope he or she would be able to figure this out then. Okay. I couldn't. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. As a photo, I think. Yeah, well, if it's sweet for talking, I would have bent down a bit and shot it. I know okay. it's time is tight, but at least you can lower down your camera and go and get it yeah. in the center. And there's a few little distracting things. I mean, it's. Sometimes when you're shooting this, you get what you can get. Yeah. But if you did actually move down, you'd probably even block out. You probably even block out this extra yeah, person. This subject there. would come stand out a bit. More. Now another nitpicking thing is, uh, you can also transform or change the vertical lines to be straight in Lightroom, or if you're using Photoshop, or perhaps you're not oh, using any okay. of these. Uh, because this is somewhat architectural, and you want these lines to be straight not slanted and that happens when you tilt the camera down or up in this case the camera's tilted slightly down mm -hmm. so these pillars aren't totally straight so that's something very nitpicky it's a very small thing that you can improve um, if you want to post process this there's one thing on the technical side that's really good about this photo mm -hmm. now that you mention it the color of this lady matches exactly with the color of the building oh yeah the, the whole color the hat the and the roof the white part and the white pillars yeah, it's all orange, and then the floor it? and it's like roughly the same color so maybe she's like the moment as if it color wise it's the yeah moment. but it's not reflected in the the title but anyway th that's true the whole color scheme yeah color works. wise it works really well and well done yeah. if it's three photography if you shot it on the spot when you see that and you shot that on the spot you get a really high mark yeah okay yeah that is something I didn't pick up on straight away, but now that you mention it, yeah. you're totally right. Yeah. yeah, it's very harmonious. The it's harmony, very harmonious. So yeah, well done. Okay, cool. Next. Okay. Trump Tower. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you went to US to shoot this. Yeah. So this is. is this, this competition is not strictly to Hong Kong, right? Uh, don't think so. I think you can shoot anywhere. Oh wow. You're taken anywhere. Wow. Trump 2016, by the way. <laughs> And make Trump Trump again. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Trump. His original name was Trump until someone. Uh, no, no. I, they his... changed it. It's an ancestral thing. S yeah, someone so changed his it. official last name is Trump. Trump. Yeah. Well, Trump very controversial. 
very hot very topic. current very, very current, current so. topic so and well okay, done for like going it. to us to take a shot like this yeah just for this competition great right? <laughs> new york uh good that you have the flag there and it's you know the, the flags are here uh -huh. it's about it's it kind of works well it's about america it works really well technically it's a it's a really nice shot the time of day beautiful it's so Is nice this hdr have, uh i'm not sure it, it might not have to be is it the color there's no shadows late, it's a late afternoon uh, it's a late afternoon. So I don't think sun... New York has colors like this, though. It's New York, like Trump Tower. Well, maybe it is because, okay, you can see a little bit of, see the edging here? Yeah, they definitely That's... played with the, what's that called? The contrast, dynamic range. Yeah, there's some. There's something... Adjusted, but that's that's acceptable. That's acceptable. That's a, it's, it's not superimposed. HDR is <laughs> HDR, yeah. It's a way know. to capture reality. It's made to document the, the scenes. Yeah, because so cameras have limited dynamic range, and HDR is a way to you know our eyes can see a lot more mm. tonal depth than the cameras. So it's a way to take multiple photos and combine them into one to try to either create something a bit more different mm -hmm. or to even show reality as it was well it's a it's a way to sh document and the coloring scene, so yeah, and i would accept that yeah artistic expression so there, there is a little bit of converging lines like i talked about in the last one but it's not such a big deal if yeah, if you're a serious exactly. architectural photographer you'd like a very really light really wide angle and you'd have a very wide angle lens or a tilt shift and you could just straighten those or you can do it in post where's the shot with 18 yeah, it looks very wide. 24. Now, you, if you fix this one in post, you would lose this whole building though. Oh, yeah. So you, ha you, you do need to be a little bit ex of experience to know where it would crop. So if you did fix the verticals, you would lose actually I, this building. I would tilt this cam. I, if, if I would be, because I would tilt this to emphasize this line. Yeah. So, okay. Now, is your subject, I, I have never been here, I don't know where this is, but is your current subject, current, mm -hmm. Trump? If it is, I think this should be more centered. It uh, should be, there is your subject. Although you would miss out on th these nice streaks and there's, all that. That's why I say she should have tilted this camera. Like, even with this photo itself, mm. if you have tilted this, Trump Tower over with like uh, let's say how many angles that's uh, 20 degrees towards anti-clockwise this You're line would, would turn would, this line would turn to this, this way turn no no uh, uh. okay right so now exaggerate it's, uh, right now it's this I should do that so all the buildings would be slanted this way right? yeah so sorry not no, that way yeah so that you want way the buildings to go this no, way. the camera would go this way and the buildings would go this way Mm. So Trump would be more towards the rules of thirds ah, okay. diagonal, yeah. but then this line will go straight this way. Okay, because we are thinking that your subject is Trump, mm -hmm. and we want to see more of it. Like, well, like we keep saying, mm -hmm. make your subject the That's hero, so don't have the subject taking only a little bit. On the towards the side. Yeah. However, maybe they're not talking about Trump, it just happens to be there. Uh, it, it's quite a nice shot, good angle. and. The, the long exposure with the light streaks work and the sky is beautiful and the light, the quality of light well, is good. If, if, if you want to emphasize the light, the sky, I would have cropped this part. Hmm. If we want to emphasize this tra light trail, I would have turned it this way. And then by tilting your camera, your Trump Tower would be more towards the center and then hmm. you will have a more focused shot yeah. on that one as well. Yeah. So, so this anyway, can be improved yeah. just, just improve to work your subject and to... it's. It's okay to fix stuff afterwards by cropping, but we would rather you be there and be able to pre-visualize what image you want to make and then set your camera exactly the way you, so you don't have to fix it later by cropping. Him. Yeah. Crop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa. Where's this? So, uh, is this Hong we Kong? We should have a look at subject matter because uh, it does tell you. Uh, Taipei Lantern Festival. Okay. The year of the monkey. So this is in Taipei. Current events. Uh, oh, a current, a sea of current of human beings. Is it a current of lanterns? Is like, a, I mean, it's about, it's like so many people. Yeah. Current to me is like a lot of things together. It's like this one is shot at ISO three thousand two hundred, I guess. 
Yeah, I had like look. It was a sixty day or a day sixty. No, you 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 actually we actually have the exit data for this. Yeah, I had a quick look at it. Oh, what die? Okay, so I'll do it later then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bit. I mean, you know, this is available light and yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I just don't see this as the current other than current events. Hmm. So it's a good documentary then. In a sense, it works for this category. Yeah, it for me it works. Yeah, because it it's so current much. of people, and I like how they all have their phones out. And yeah. Now the whole thing. Only thing saying, is, like, if I would have taken a selfie right here for my competition if I'm going to join. <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna, are you gonna go there? Yeah, let's take like, a selfie. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, the the thing we've been saying applies here. Uh, what is your subject? Is it the lanterns? If it is, we want to see more. The lanterns only take up half the image. Is it your? Is it the I people? Think, I, the I see why he wants to do that. He wants to merge the two subjects together hmm. as a one unified subject. But the problem with this, with in this lighting conditions. Um, as Josh says, uh, because you need the lighting needs to be done properly in order to merge the top part and the bottom part. But you have this empty space here. Hmm. I would have cropped this part. Yeah, or just I would just you know, crop it here. But then with or this just lighting, turn your camera. Just turn your camera. You don't have to crop everything. Just, well, there, might, there might be some other click that, objects there. But no. don't give up. Click that and then move it in or zoom in or walk walk in. Just to get rid of that dead area. This this whole area is empty and it's yeah. dead. It's not improving your photo. At all, Someone's yeah. got a lightsaber there. <laughs> it's, it's not improving your photo. Your main photo is here in this in this two thirds. Yeah, or maybe just make it lands. What's that? Portrait. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. So that's how to improve. Okay. So yeah, easy done. Okay, on to the next one. Whoa. Current. Whoa. Current. Well, first of all, this is a beautiful photo and you're so lucky to be at this amazing place. Uh, I'm guessing it's China, but we're going to look at the the Grand Canyon of Mount Hangshan. Oh, so, so it's China. So it's China. WTC. Yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous place and it's, it's, it's amazing. You've got God rays, you've got these oh, light streaks. As a... Uh, As a scenery photo, pretty good. Now, composition-wise, what do you what do you reckon? I have one comment for mm -hmm. this one. What's so? It's a current of clouds. Uh, current of rays. mountains, I guess. Like there's oh, a yeah, lot. Oh, yeah, that makes of sense. Mountains. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. You. I guess. I guess. Uh, I would have played a bit. I would have desaturated this photo and increased the contrast for this. Mm -hmm. That will make a bigger picture for the current theme. Oh, so you want to bring out the mountains more, darken yep. them a bit more by increasing yep. contrast. Okay, I agree. And the clouds and the lights. Now this, as with a lot of these images, uh, we would like to see your subject being the hero. So again, these mountains, they're only taking up half the image. Okay, and I, I do get that you have beautiful clouds and lights, but if this is your hero, then it should be either crop it, get rid of some of the sky mm -hmm. and make them bigger because that's your hero. Mm, uh, it is beautiful, but if it's cut directly in half and there's no symmetry. So have a look at the rule of thirds and there's a reason why it's, it's yeah. a rule that people keep using because it helps improve the strength of your image. So you could crop out some of these clouds at the top and then or what Josh would say, thing. just zoom. <laughs> yeah, or, or fix it, get it in camera. Yeah. And uh, that'll look good. I think, there's a, I think there's a little bit of a dust spot there if you're eagle eyed and clean that up. Looks That's like your TV, spot. not. No, I can see it on the monitor over there. Yeah, it's a bit of a dust spot. Okay. But quite beautiful. Like, this is a magical moment. You know? I've never. I've never been lucky enough to be in a place that looks like this. Yeah. The other thing is it looks like water, you know, it's like it's got a pattern, wow. a wavy pattern. You could probably interpret it mm. as like you know, it's got some sort of water current kind of look to it. So I, I think fix up your composition. Um, the, the other thing is this 
uh, isn't doing too much. It's a little bit distracting. <laughs> it's a corner, but it does serve the purpose of giving you some foreground, so you can see how far these are away. Oh. So how far these are away. Well, in that case, you should follow the rules of thirds. This so is. I think you could there. even, if you want to do a bit of post, you can brighten it up because there's a bit of mountain detail which could look good. Oh yeah. If you brighten it. Just some little things that we think can do. Oops, sorry. Oh, this is okay. So. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I would just, I would have, pro uh, yeah, I would agree with Josh about the rules of thirds here. Follow that. Either do it, okay. th either so, do it like this. So the rule of like thirds that. is you have these, you divide your image into thirds, so you can mm -hmm. go, if, yeah, so if this is your square, you've got a third, a third, so one, two, three, and then vertically you've got one, two, three, and then choose the top line there. So you've got two thirds of the subject and then one third for the clouds. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes sense. But look up the rule of thirds. It's, yeah. a, it's a classic rule uh, for landscape. And you can break it, but learn it and see. You need see to understand you why it. it's there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. It helps with the subject and the relationship with its background. Anyway, next. Okay, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. So uh, on the topic of landscapes, water, it's called watercurrent.jpg. Uh, shall I comment this first? Yeah, you can. I, as <laughs> if you've seen the first part when I describe what is photography, it's an art of documenting things. If you're just doing it by pure visual arts, you can just do paintings. Paintings, basically. So I don't see what's documented here. I don't call it a photography. I can call it's a good painting, maybe. I just. That's mm -hmm. how I see it. Okay. Well, I think it's artistic in that artistic. you are capturing the form. It's the form and the color of this, you know, the Grand Canyons, the organic rock and the shape. So it, it's... This is the Grand Canyon? It's called water current. I'm guessing it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know be. how she made that mono. He or she. It could be. It doesn't have to be, but I've seen some shots of the Grand Canyon and... It reminds me okay. of this. I, I, I mean, maybe it's taken in China or Hong Kong somewhere. Okay, maybe. But it looks like a painting to me, so. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I think the interpretation is that the name is water current, so it's got this water, you know, flowing lines and stuff. So I think as a abstract piece of photography, yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, to me, it's not the s most strongest image it's beautiful but it's not the most strongest image I've seen of the Grand Canyon um, there are many it's everyone shoots the Grand Canyon I don't even I've know seen if some it's amazing. a Grand Canyon so I can't really comment on this hmm. it's kind of just unfortunate hmm. or maybe it's just me okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry whoever that is but yeah well that's what yeah that's <laughs> your opinion I my think, opinion I think it's okay I, I have seen stronger more more other shots of the Grand Canyon that like have a bigger wow factor, and I'm not, I'm not sure. It's not too. Well, I mean, wow. even if it's wow, what color are we supposed to focus this on? Just by purely on colors, the the sharp dark well, one or the bright one or the white one. Your eye goes to this very bright area, which isn't the but most interesting. It's distracted by the contrast there, but it's not really a double contrast. Like this area here. Yeah, this area is supposed to contrast with that one, but it yeah. does not. It doesn't really contrast. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it. I think it's right. a. I think it's a nice image. It's not like the most amazing shot I've seen no, of the Grand Canyon. I think it's. it's I think it's kind of. I think it's quite. It's still nice. It's like you know. No, I stick with it. I shape for, when I first see this, I don't see it as an art photography of art. Mm. Art photography. Thing. So you're saying this is someone just went there and took a snapshot of it and. Just... No, I just see they just saw these colors and then just you take a snapshot. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Don't see any reason. For yeah. It. Well, that's I. I think I think I see what you mean, and I agree. It's it's not the most amazing shot of this particular place. Yeah, you just went I've to seen. a really amazing place and you take a shot, but you never thought about how to make it better. <laughs> well, okay. I think maybe when they're there, it looks like. A very striking yeah, place in colors so, and yeah. maybe good. so it's, it's a good image it's not our favorite i guess it's not favorite, uh, yeah okay all right that's it shall we all right so 
let's bring up the part three. Let's bring up. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna bring up the the set. Right. How do you do? Wait, hang on, hang on. Is this? We're gonna bring them all up together. Huh? There's still one more. Yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna bring this page up so we can like see them all as a series. Oh, okay, okay. Because we are judging. Oh, we we're, we're not doing judging now. No, but we want to see all the images as a collection. Because this is these are the entries for yeah. current. Yeah. So all right. The, have a look at these and see what you think might be your favorite. We're not gonna judge on this. We're just gonna give some critiques about well, what we think. Well in, in as the portfolio as a whole, I think most people would think about the current as in the waterways. Yeah. And then they're trying to merge it within the current events. Yeah, so, so basically we been, so, uh, it's kind of aligned with people. I would what? I would have picked. I, I mean I really like like at first glance I for the street photography one it's one? kind of not the other one this one this one yeah. If, at first glance it's I don't know what they're trying to do but then afterwards when I just got noticed with the colors yeah then I was like whoa yeah it's a nice photo we we figured out how we can improve it a little bit but a little yeah. bit yeah just squat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squad. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, should we, we take, a break? take a break? And then in part three, we're going to come back to the third series of this competition. All right. All right. We'll cue the music. We'll dance and catch you back in a bit. <laughs>